Patrick from Williamsburg Blue Pirate Games Galore here and welcome back to another video and welcome back to Senior Spotlights, the series where I talk about Williamsburg seniors and the sports they played and today I will be talking about Luke Uplinger and let's get into it. So Luke has played two seasons so far for our varsity baseball team and here are his stats. First off, he wore number five in his first season. He played 20 games. He had 67 at-bats, 12 runs, 22 hits, 7 RBIs, 1 double, no triple, no home run, and no grand slam. And then very recently in his second season, he played 20 games. He had 65 at-bats. 18 runs, 20 hits, 4 RBIs, 4 doubles, 1 triple, no homer, and no grand slam. And Luke played various positions during this very recent season. He was the pitcher a couple times, and then when Alex sustained an injury, I'm not sure what game, Luke came in as the catcher. And as for the way Luke has played from my perspective during his second season, I think he played really good. He, you know, I don't think he was nervous. I mean, there were times where, you know, there were some bad moments that Luke experienced during his second season. And I think overall he did really good. You know, he made some mistakes, but I'm not going to blame him. It's not, not, not everything is his fault. So he played overall a really good season. He had a really good second season. So Luke's one of the one of the kids that Jerry has a he has a, so Jerry Palmer has a nickname for just about every kid on his team. And Alex Brantner was A B. Preston Long was P Long. Colton Verbonitz was Skip. Colton Wagner was Wags, and then Kane Hughes was Croc, and then Luke Uplinger, number six for this season. Various nicknames, and that brings me to my favorite Luke Uplinger moments. And the first one is one of my favorites. It's against Penn's Manor, Luke Uplinger's pitching. He throws a ball, it's a strike, and... You viewers know what happened next. Here is the clip. Enjoy. That's how the nickname of Lucas and Uppy got started. And I actually told this against Black League Valley in the first round of district playoffs. And it's still one of my favorite Luke Uplinger moments. And let's get to the plays. I might as well combine the moments and plays here in this episode. So my other favorite Luke Uplinger moment and play combined would have to be a play that he made against Kerwinsville, and it was our second game. We were 0-1, and, and Luke hit this RBI triple, and here is the video. Enjoy. favorite Luke Uplinger play and moment it has a really nice backstory so if you viewers remember in the last episode where I talked about Colton Verbonitz and I mentioned that he was known for hitting these successful bunts whether they were RBIs or singles well in the game against Bishop Guilfoyle which in my honest thought is the worst game I have ever filmed and the worst game we ever played in the playoffs 
Luke would do exactly the same thing that Kane Hughes and Culver Barnes would do or did way earlier in the season. Luke Uplinger would hit a successful bunt. Here is the video. Enjoy. Here's next pitch. Bunted and safe at first and safe at first. And Luke Uplinger with his first successful bunt of the season. And welcome to the Bunt Club, Lucas Uplinger. Wouldn't a Luke Uplinger episode of Senior Spotlight be without a defensive play? This is against Bishop Guilfoyle. Yes, the game where Luke Uplinger hit that successful bunt. And we were down by I'm not sure how much. Now, if you remember the episode with Rowan Gorsage, you saw the video where, where there was that wild sequence and Rowan Gorsage was able to get the out at home as the pitcher. Well, Luke Uplinger would do something similar to that, although this time he wasn't the pitcher, he was still the catcher. He made a really nice out at home, and here is the play. Enjoy. Well, one pitch. It's hit, and the throw to first is hit. And Lucas Uplinger makes the saving play. And top of the fourth is next. It's still tied, six to six. Those are my favorite Luke Uplinger plays and moments. So, my not so favorite Luke Uplinger moment. Now, Luke will probably attest to this. So, we're down by a lot, and Luke's the catcher. A run's about to come home at home plate, and Luke and the runner collide. And you viewers remember the video whenever I recorded it. I'm just going to play the video for that. Next pitch. It's hit and... Save. Throw him out! Throw him out! And a collision at home. And... And I'll be honest with you. That should have been an ejection for BG. That should have been an ejection. To be honest with you, viewers, that was one of the worst moments of my first season of recording Williamsburg baseball. I thought that the guy from Bishop Guilfoyle should have been ejected, but actually, if you look back at the video, and there was actually a picture on the out to the mirror, it almost looked like that Luke could have been ejected, not the runner from Bishop Guilfoyle. So that was one of the worst moments of my first season of recording Williamsburg baseball. But hey, things happen. At least Luke was okay and, you know, he didn't get thrown out. So how do you think Luke will do next year in his final season? I think he will do really good next year. I think he will continue to play the way he played the last two years he played. Hopefully he gets his first home run. We'll see what happens. And... Let's see if we can have a good season next year. Hopefully we have a win, a winning season, make playoffs, maybe even win a district championship or state championship. The only thing we can do right now is wait four months and find out. So thank you viewers for watching this episode of Senior Spotlight. Senior Spotlight's featuring Luke Uplinger. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you can be notified when a new video is up on the channel. And be sure to share these videos. If there's any Blue Pirate fans you know of that like to watch this kind of content that has to do with Williamsburg sports, be sure you share these videos. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video featuring my very first escort that I recorded during my varsity senior year of cheerleading. And stay tuned Thursday also for the second escort and the Williamsburg basketball preview video. I am so looking forward to being able to film basketball this year. I can't wait. 
and I hope you viewers are excited as well. But for now, thank you viewers for watching. And until the next video, this is Patrick from Williamsburg Blue Pirate Games Galore signing off.